That's why they look like that. Um, I usually start, believe it or not, with this. I <laughs> just baby Vaseline. Um, I kind of just like gently dab a little all over my face just so that the area is smooth. And I know like some people have like oily skin and whatever, but for me, like. It just makes it a lot more smoother. Then the next thing is I have the, I don't know if I should go like this, MAC concealer. And I kind of just poured it onto here. So as you can see, my little setup here, I poured it right there. I will be using a Q-tip and just kind of applying it underneath my eyes and then right here um, I think here usually what I do sometimes I don't even use this to be honest and then like this I know you guys are probably gonna take some screenshots but whatever it's all good do what you gotta do make fun of me I don't care and then <laughs> yes and then a little bit here and then that's that <laughs> um, once that's done I will be using this so it is the fit me and I will be using my sponge Beauty, beauty, beauty blender, and kind of dip that like that. This is just a quick look, and then I'll just kind of spread it, blend it, and like for me, I don't really use a lot of makeup just because I don't. Know, I don't think there's any need to impress anybody. There's no one really to impress or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, to blend that stuff up. Ooh, it's like so good. Um, go my eyelids. My chin. So I'll do like when coating. And then because it's a little bit light with the concealer, I'll just dab a little bit everywhere with the actual foundation color because it's darker. And then now I'll blend it some more. And so that's that part. I'm definitely gonna wash my stuff after I use it and whatnot. Uh, make sure I close it properly. Okay. And next on my list is the MAC Medium Golden. So it is this, and it looks like this. So it's kind of just going to use this brush here and kind of you know, blend it a little bit more, lightly like dab it all over. And once 
once I'm done with that, I will use my Hard Candy Glow. So my case is kind of broken because I dropped it already, but uh, still good to use. Looks like that. Um, it's kind of like a bronzer kind of thing. I'm still going to use the same brush. Just kind of lightly dab it on and whatnot all over. Don't forget the neck. Okay. And then, once I'm done that, I like to glow a lot. So, I have the Tarte Pro to Glow. So, whoops, right there. And I like to use, clearly, all three of these. So, I will use the brown first, just to go over a little bit as well, everywhere. And then I will use my fan brush. Clearly, I have used it already. And then I will um, kind of gently swipe and then kind of in a like sort of diagonal kind of form, do a little highlighting there, a little bit on the nose. Then the next one down, I will go like this. Same idea. And apparently you're supposed to go on your cupid or cuspid, cupid's bow, something like that. And then once I'm done using that, I like to use the Soft and Gentle from MAC. So that's this. Soft and Gentle. Again, I kind of just go like this and kind of do that. And... Again, I don't know why, but it looks poppin' in pictures when you do that. And then I'll go back to this same brush, and then I'll use the Hard Candy Blush Duo. Um, instead of like separately using it, I would kind of just go like this, and then kind of make a blush effect, I guess. And then that's it for that portion. Um, my brows are kind of done, but I could do it up a little bit more with the Anastasia. Um, technically, oops, technically I only use this portion of it just to brush up on my brows. And then I would use the NARS. Um, this is kind of just like a gel, so I guess I could do that. Just to, I guess, keep it intact. And then when I do the Anastasia, this brush, I kind of just brush it up. So like the hair, my eyebrow hair flows in one direction. Um, yeah, once that's done, uh, I use the Natural Nude palette. Basically, I would put on the inner canthus of my eyes. It's like white, so it kind of like shapes it. And like I would put some on the top. And then I would do a little mix. <laughs> I would do a little mix of all of these and then put it on my eyelids. I'm not really an eyeshadow fan because I don't know, my eyes are tiny as hell. Or I don't know. And basically I would do that. Once that's done, that's what it looks like. And last but not least, my favorite part is the Insta Curl. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Insta Curl Lash, which is this. And basically, I love it because you can twist it and then goes on your eyelashes like this. And putting your eyelashes up. Apparently, my eyelashes are really long already, so I don't really need to do much to it. But Voila! That is my daily makeup, I think. Or like, that's a little bit extra. Last but not least, um, Tresteek, Tresteek, Tresteek. Um, so this is just like a beautiful pink lip liner that I would just go like this. And... That's it. And voila! I have a new... New me. So for my hair, 
usually for my hair whenever I'm done showering I kind of just put it up and in a bun and when I take it out of the bun you know like my lioness comes to life <laughs> and so if it's kind of like wavy curly like it looks like a beach curl already um, I'm just going to tie it up and it turns into like an awesome look and technically like that's all I gotta do so once I figure like my hair parting or whatever sometimes I don't even care what it looks like but in this sense I think I should here is this I do this and then I think I'll put some Tresemme hairspray in it just so it stays because it's a little windy outside so and voila basic day in the life with Cassandra um my I guess I could put like all of these, like whatever I've used. And um, this is my clothing attire. I'm going outside to gym and whatever. Not gym, but like, you know, outdoors filming. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Let me know what else you want me to put, I guess. YouTubing is so hard. Um, you get a lot of haters, you get a lot of lovers, but like I'm thankful for both because you guys teach me a lot of things. So see you in my next video.